All right, I like this problem. So this problem says y equals 2 thirds x plus 4. And in this case, what we're going to do is we need to, again, graph this. So we're going to determine our slope. And I liked how the slope is a fraction, because then we don't need to convert it or anything. We know that the change in y is 2, and, or I'm sorry, the change in y is 2, and the change in x is going to be 3. Then our y-intercept, we're going to write as a coordinate point, which would be 0, comma 4. So now, remember, when graphing an equation that's in slope-intercept form, the first thing that we're going to want to do is make sure that we plot the y-intercept, which is at 0, comma 4. So along my x-axis, I'm not going to be going anywhere. But along my y-axis, I'm going to go up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, the next thing we need to do is now we need to, I don't think I'm going to sneeze on camera. Not yet. OK. <laughs> So the slope, remember, is the change in y-coordinates over the change in x-coordinates between two points. Now, we can be any two points that we want, but we know that that's going to be the slope. So just to, all I need to do is find one more point to be able to create my line. So if I know the change in y is 2 and the change of x is 3, from my initial point, I'm just going to go up two units, which would be the change in y, and over three units, which would be the change in x. And that's going to give me my next point, right? And it could be any point. I mean, it doesn't matter what point you pick. Um, it could also be one in the negative direction. But now that I have two points, I can continue this indefinitely. Um, now, I'm not going to go ahead and try to estimate. We're going to learn how to find the x and the y-intercept here. But you can definitely see that the y-intercept is at 0, 0, 4, and also that the graph continues indefinitely in the positive and in the negative direction. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph linear equations. Thanks.